Okay, so you got iOS 17 on your iPad, but you've been experiencing battery problems or animation glitches or maybe some other problems. And in this video, I'll be explaining to you how you can downgrade back to iOS 16. So the first thing you need to do is connect your iPad to your computer. And you can do this using the charging cable that you use to charge your iPad with. And once you've done that, go ahead and log on to your computer. And then you should get this trust notification on your phone asking you if you want to trust the computer. So what you want to do is press on trust. And then go ahead and open any search engine you like and search for ipsw.me and then select the iPad option and select any device that you're using. I'm using the iPad 7 so I'm going to be selecting that and then over here select any one of the assigned IPSWs and if iOS 16 isn't available then that means you can no longer downgrade. So what you need to do next is scroll down to here and press on download. And while we're waiting for that to download, we're going to go onto our iPad and open settings. Then press on your profile at the top and select Find My. Then make sure that Find My iPad is turned off. Now back on your computer, this next step will be different depending on if you're a Mac or a Windows user. If you're on a Windows, just go ahead and download iTunes off the Microsoft Store. And once it's downloaded, just go ahead and open it and press on this logo at the top left corner. And if you're on a Mac, just go ahead and open Finder and then press on your device at the side of the window. Now the next step is just to press down on the option key if you're on a Mac and on the shift key if you're on a Windows computer and then just press on restore iPhone while you're doing that and select the file that you just downloaded a moment ago and press on open then press on restore and now you'll just need to wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading. So once your iPad has been downgraded just go ahead and set it up and once it's been set up if you go into settings in general and software update you'll see that it'll be running iPadOS 16.5 now that is how you downgrade your iPad back to iOS 16 if you found this video helpful be sure to like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video